Hey guys, this is Rexon, and today I'll show you how to install most mods. Today we'll be using Warzone 2100 Art Revolution as our example. The reason why we're using this mod today is because this mod is pretty popular and it improves the graphics of the game pretty significantly, I might add. Personally, I enjoy the mod. So, once you have downloaded the mod, it should show up in your downloads folder. And for this mod, very much specifically, you're going to need an extractor called Winwar, 7-Zip, or other type of extractor. These are pretty common and they're often free. So the reason why you need an extractor for this mod specifically is because this mod only works for 3.3.0. It technically works on newer versions as well. I'm currently using 3.4.1. However, you will run into an error. What you need to do is delete a palette file, text file, that occurs at the bottom of this mod. I currently do not have it because I have already removed it, but you will get a text file at the bottom that you need to remove called palette.txt. Once you remove it, you'll be fine. If you're not downloading this mod and using it, ignore this step, and simply you'll end up with a .wz file within your downloads folder. And what you need to do is you need to move it into your mods folder. Unfortunately, you get two different directories depending on which one you install. If you get the main one, you'll have two separate ones. You'll have one that is installed in your app data, and if you use the portable, you have everything together. Obviously, it depends on where you are. Personally, for the main installer, this is where my path was. It is basically your user within users and app data roaming. And app data is a hidden folder, so you won't be able to see it if you just open, if you just go to your directory. So now, once you have found wherever your data is, please go to Warzone 2100 3.4.0, go to mods, and put whatever mod you have into auto load. This is the easiest way to get a mod running and going. The other sections, campaign, global, music, multiplayer, music, you need to specify a shortcut to the specific uh, folders and target the mod. So normally you have Warzone 2100, a shortcut for it. You make a shortcut for this. So you go create a shortcut and you have to change the target. This works, at least from how I know, only in portable. You target the folder and then you do two dashes the same mod equal whatever the name of your mod is dot wz and once you do that each time you click on that shortcut it should start up the specific mod and whatever folder you had and if you're an example if you want to do campaign you do mod underscore ca equal the name of your mod within campaign so there are more detailed explanations for if you want specific mods or specific details. Uh, right now, the easiest way is simply put it into auto load and run the game. And I'm just going to run the game as to demonstrate what I mean. So I go to single player, I start skirmish, I start hosting a game, and I click play. As you can immediately see, the graphics are significantly improved. And this is the effect of the mod. And if you have never played this game before, well, let me just tell you, the classic version of the game it does not live up to the graphical standards of AAA titles. This bridges the gap a little bit more with this mod. So that's currently it for how you want to install the mod. Uh, right now, I just want to give credit to the modder. So if you go to the forums, you can find the Art Revolution Beta 3, the last official update thread for the Art Revolution mod. It is in 2018, however, this mod is being continuously updated, so even though it says 3.3.0, it technically works for 3.4.1. You just have to delete that palette.txt file. And for other mods, you can simply go to the add-on section to check them out. There should be a list of all the different mods you can get. And for other related stuff, you can go within the forums, check it out. These people put a lot of effort, and if you're ever going to go explore mod, 
And you might as well drop down, leave a comment, and say what you think of it. Alright, this is Rexon, signing out.